Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, sir? Fine, thank you. I'm okay, thank you. What about you, Mariano? How are you? Hi, teacher. Hello. You're listening a new album that I don't love today. <laughs> Which album? The band's name is New Real Disaster, and the album Tomorrow Will Come. It's a punk rock band from Italy. Oh, interesting. Sounds really good. Sounds like Joan Jett. Like Joan Jett, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Sounds good, actually. Oh, OK. OK, nice. Um, let me see, let me see. Hello, Anna. How are you? Hello. Good evening. I'm fine, teacher. And you? I'm, I'm fine. Thank you. Um, another day, another dollar. OK. <laughs> it's an expression that people say, you know, like, how are you? Mm, another day, another dollar. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe un día más in Spanish. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, oh, totally one, well, you know, another day. Yeah. All right. So, how is how is the weather in your house in this moment? It's a little cool. No, in my in my neighborhood is very hot, but um, there is a a little wind, but the weather is hot. Oh, okay. In by my house, it's it's a little windy. It's nice. Okay. Where do you live? I live by uh, Paso de Jaguar, the, the circle. Oh, yeah. In this area, uh, the weather is nice. Yes, it's, it's nice. It's, well, when it's hot, it's hot. <laughs> but it's different to living around the, the downtown of El Salvador. Oh, yes, I could <laughs> imagine. Near to downtown, it's very hot. Yes. I near to, I, I near to around the, the, the center of the middle downtown. Um, okay. I live to five, five minutes. Okay, no, you from okay, the wait. downtown. Okay, let, let me explain something. You live near to the near and two are okay, but near and two are prepositions. Okay, and um, you only say one preposition, not two. For example, okay. yes, for example, you said I live near to downtown no you can say i live near downtown near downtown okay, okay. so do you live in la vega no no in la rabida oh, okay la, la. that's downtown la near to the no, mall of of las no, terrazas near to no well, you uh, say, me, near to. sorry Near to Centro Comercial Las Terrazas? No. The volvió mall? A de, volvió a decir near to. <laughs> two, two, two. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, the 20, uh, oh, let me see. Um, a street of 29? Yes, but you have to say near Las Terrazas. Yes, near Las Terrazas, maybe one or three block. Oh, okay. Okay, I understand because in Spanish it's cerca de, near to, and people, you know. Yes, <laughs> yes, but it's, uh, it's for when I talking with uh, English, maybe I, I remember that try to explain in Spanish is yes. that which is uh, the most of the problem I have it now when okay, I speak no, in. It's, um, yes. It's normal. 
But I have a question. Um, you don't talk English, you speak English. Okay. Okay, you don't say what I talk. is when you talk with, with the other person. No, because you speak to another person too. Okay, which is the difference when you use the talk and you speak? Very good question. Talk is blah, 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 conversation. That's talk. Okay. But speak, speak is ability, habilidad. Okay. Yes. Por eso que la gente siempre pregunta, can you speak English? Can you speak Spanish? Can you speak French? Can you? Because the answer is yes, I can. No, I can't. Okay. Thank you so, for explanation. Yes. A, speak es habilidad. Yeah. Talk is when you use that, whatever you want. Yeah, talk and blah, 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 the conversation. Okay. But like, okay. Um, uh -huh. like, for example, we have ability. We speak English and Spanish. Okay. Yes. Um, the president of El Salvador speaks English and Spanish. The embajadora, no. <laughs> really? Only Spanish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have a friend who works in the uh, Cancillería. How to say Cancillería? Council. Yeah, he works in yeah, and in, in that place, and she speaks four languages. She speaks oh. uh, Spanish, English, French, and Chinese. A kind of Chinese, I don't know, is Mandarin or, or something like that. Oh, yeah, good. Remember El Papa, Pope, the Pope? Yeah. People Pope, said that Juan Pablo. Juan Pablo, John Pope the second. Uh, people always say that he speaks seven languages. Well, <laughs> but I think that was a lie. Because I never understood Spanish, English. I never understood what language he was speaking. I remember he was always only. <laughs> so, no, no, no offense, but I remember because I used to watch him on TV, and it, you know it was it was um, like oh, this is this is interesting. But I never understood what language he was speaking. Teacher, you are bad, very bad. No, he's just, no, because you know how people always say, no, I, Papa, he's a very intelligent <laughs> man. He speaks seven languages. I'm really, I know he speaks Polish because it was his. Teacher, it was he, his. he says, I learn in other language, sleeping. The Pope second say that. What did he say? Uh, learn other language sleeping. Really? See? Well, it's possible, I guess. No, I try it. <laughs> it's a lie. It's, it's a big lie. <laughs> I, I need I to need sleep all day. I try to learn French. It's a lie. Only a few words I understand and I can speak. Maybe I use that technique. <laughs> right. <laughs> Maybe use what? I use the technique of that. She said that the uh, sleep for learn other language. <laughs> but, but you know that's bad. Teacher is 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 true that playing yes. English is sleeping. Yes, it's bad. Even when you dream, it's bad because. Supposedly, when you're sleeping, it's because your brain is resting. And sometimes, I don't know, that's ever happened to you that the next day you're very tired and you say, Why? Why am I so tired? And that's maybe because you had a lot of dreams. So your, 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 
brain was working, 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 working. And it was supposed to be resting. That's why that's why it was not recommended to to learn English sleeping. <laughs> Yeah, because your brain needs to rest. All right, I see Gabriela, Neftali, and Jose Mariano. Hello, teacher. How are you, Gabriela? I'm very exhausted, but I'm okay. Why are you exhausted? Exhausted. Because I work exhausted. Because I work all day. Okay. Yeah. And you have uh, you sell clothes, right? Only clothes. What? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Only clo woman clothes. Oh, okay. Only that. Yes. Pero mm -hmm. es es por mayor. How do you say that? Oh, in gross. In gross. Uh huh. Es uh, como por docenas, por mayor. Yeah, in gross, gross. In so. gross. Okay. Oh, you do? So, yes, yeah, so we have a lot of work. Hard work day. Oh, I, I, yeah. I imagine you had like a, you know, a normal store where people go and buy a blouse or pants. No, no, no. Like a distribuidor? Distributor. Oh, okay. okay. Hey, that's good. If you're exhausted, it means you did a good job. Yes. Yeah, it's a good job. And, and I like, so I enjoy all day, but it's exhausting. Of course, it's, it's your business. So that's good. Yes. I got my own money. So yes. that's good. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Um, let's do the, let's, we're going to do a video. Okay. So let me share my screen with you. Do you see the lady? Yes. Yes, teacher. Sure? Yes. 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 All right. Describing purpose. What is purpose? Propósito. Yes. Describing a purpose. Okay, let's listen. Ready? Look at the picture of a coffee shop. For it to stay popular, what three things should be done? Type your suggestions on our discussion box. Hi, for you to be fluent in To run a popular internet. I'm sorry. Hi, for you to be fluent in English, you need to keep up with all the lessons. So stay and learn how to describe purpose using infinitive clauses. Describing purpose. Infinitive clauses. To run a popular internet cafe, it's a good idea to have late opening hours. To establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have fashionable servers. In order to establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have fashionable servers. Infinitive clauses with four. For an athletic center to be profitable, it needs to have modern exercise equipment. For a shopping mall to succeed, it has to have a convenient location. In order for a shopping mall to succeed, it has to have a convenient location. To describe purpose, we may do so by using different types of infinitive clauses. We may use the infinitive clause to plus verb. For example, to succeed in business, you have to. Notice we began our sentence using to, followed by the verb succeed. Or we may use in order plus infinitive. Example, in order to succeed in business, you have to. We may add in order, but it's optional. If we omit it, the structure stays the same. The other way to describe purpose is by using infinitive clause with for. 
Four plus noun plus infinitive. For a business to succeed, it has to. Or in order plus four plus noun plus infinitive. In order for a business to succeed, it has to. Again, we may use in order, but it is optional. The structure stays the same if we omit it. So this is what we were doing yesterday, remember to... Ready? Look at the picture of a coffee shop. For it to stay popular, what three things should be done? Type your suggestions on our discussion box. Remember what we were doing yesterday? In order to make a pupusas, you need the ingredients. Yes. Also, um, I'm sorry, we say to make pupusas, you need the ingredients. Or so you can say, in order to make pupusas, you need ingredients. It's correct too. Okay, and another one that we can use is using for. For and in order to. Yes. 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 Uh, For a is... business to succeed, it has to. Or. Mm -hmm. For example, for a business to succeed, it has to, for a car to run, it has to have gasoline. Okay. Um, here's an interesting question. Let me see. Um, Gabriela. Yes. To have a family business, what do you recommend? Remember yesterday to have a family business? Mm. Or to have your own business? You need to be um, responsible. Okay, good. So to have or, your own... Mm -hmm. Organize. 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 Uh, organize, organize with your money and with your time. Okay. Disciplined? Yes, disciplined. Okay. So when that's using an infinitive, cuando estamos in order to, it's more like the functionality. In order... <laughs> In order to get married in a Catholic church, you need to anticipate three months before. Oh, and you need to go to chats. I get a chat lesson. Oh my God, that's so boring. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I went three Saturdays, three Saturdays. Right now. <laughs> And no, but I, I, you know, it's the intention, but uh, I remember we were only two couples, only two couples. And como se llama padrinos, I think maybe. They were very, very, very old. It was, just, it was difficult to hear them. Like, and imagine three Saturdays for eight hours. Yeah. Ahí, so me di cuenta que, ahí me di cuenta que amaba a mi esposa porque ya no aguantaba. <laughs> I told her. <laughs> I told a her. long time. Yeah, I said, come on, man. Three hours, these people are very old. <laughs> Deberían disfrutar su último sábado en vez de estar dando charlas, you know? <laughs> But you know, the intention was good. Oh, and it was funny because I never did baptism, confirmation. Y todas las cosas que se hacen en la iglesia católica. El, cuando le pegan a alguien. Uh, <laughs> confirmation. Confirmation. Yeah. I did everything in one day. All in one. Yes. It's like an offer. Wow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That was interesting. All right. Yes. I like quit with you of religion. I'm sorry. 
I like to speak with you of religion. Oh, <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> but you know what? I do like, I do like, um, I love to read about religion because um, I, I like to read a lot. So I, I like to read controversial topics. So I like to read about Mormons. I like to read about the um, Amish, about Catholics, Jehovah Witness. Do you notice Jehovah Witness? The Steel of the Jehovah? Yeah. How do you so, say Testigo de Jehovah? Repeat, please. Jehovah. So, uh, Jehovah. Jehovah Witness. Jehovah. Jehovah. Jehovah Witness. Jehovah Witness. Yes. Jehovah Witness. Witness. Testigo. Witness. 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 Yes. Thank you. Yeah. No problem. Testigos de Jehovah. Yes. So it's very interesting. I like I like to read about satanic people too. What about sectas satanicas? También. Uh. It's stupid. Man. <laughs> in, in 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 this time, is a religion satanic? Yes, there is a a man. His name was um, my sister Anton Sandor Lavey. No, Alistair my Crowley. sister, I was teacher. My sister, I was living in Arkansas in apartment. Yes. Uh, live one man. He, uh, he is satanic. My oh, really? sister go around this department. <laughs> I, I imagine <laughs> yes. I want to go someday. Someday I want to go to a satanic church. Quisiera ir a una. Porque no creo en eso. O sea, so it's, it's ridiculous. So I just want to see, you know, like, oh, please. Oh, this For me, it's the other religion, too. Yeah, because, it's. Because uh, you have to believe in something. I, I didn't believe in that something. Yeah, you have to believe in something. No, but there is a man in history. There is a man. His name was Alistair Crowley. He was from England. And um, he actually made the Church of Satan legal. like. So uh, that's what I like to read. I like to read about interesting people. Malas o gente mala o buena. I like to read. Hay gente que se ofende cuando yo les digo que mi personaje favorito en la historia es Hitler. Hitler. Yes. But Hitler uh, was very intelligent. Oh, yes. He was, I mean, he was a terrible, terrible person. I really, because, really hate what he did. Teacher, because, uh, uh, because, how do you say cortar? How do you, how do but, you say? But, what her, Cut the head, the beady people, because he study her head. Oh, he did because... many, many things. Había alguien peor que Hitler. Un día, si quieren, lean, se llama El Ángel de la Muerte. Lean del Joseph Mengele, que era bajo Hitler. It's terrible. The experiments they did, it was horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. But um, but he did experiment with people. Imagine, imagine we need. I think in the world, we need a Hitler, but a good Hitler, no a bad Hitler. We need a good Hitler, pero lo matan. Teacher, if Hitler live in El Salvador, eh, very people killer. Oh, if Hitler lived in El Salvador, no mareros. Pero no solamente no mareros, no mothers of mareros, and no wives of mareros. Hitler era de raíz. <laughs> ah, y los areneros. Bueno, yeah. I think. <laughs> uh -huh. Everybody. Berta de León. Arena y FM. Berta de León. 
Estuviera en Coney. That's a crazy woman. Chavista. No, no, but you know, I think Berta Leon, I think she has me mental problems because she likes attention, but she, she's not, she's not normal. Mm. She's a politician, she's a feminist, she's a, she's everything. Toda la contraria, she's everything. She's uh, bad, bad, bad. Okay, so that's, that's how you use. So when you say for, is the functionality. Okay, in order to, order it's to. the same like saying to. So in order to, in order to go to the United States, you need a visa. Uh -huh. Or to go to the United States, you need a visa. So it's the same, it's the same. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. For becoming, um, <clears throat> For becoming a president of in, in El Salvador, you need elections. And to be a Salvadorian. And to be a Salvadorian. Okay. So let's let's see the video again. Let me see. Let's watch the next video. So look, um, let me do the knowledge check. Do you, oh, oh what am I doing? Hold on. Okay, do you see my screen? Yes. Y yes, it sure. Yes. Okay, good. So, um, listen, number one, it says, for a health club to attract new people. What is a health club? Club Saludable. Yeah. That could be what? A gym? A gym. Yeah, a gym. A, a gym, CrossFit, gym. CrossFit um, meditation gym, yoga class. Yes. Okay, so it says for a health club to attract new people, what do you think? You need to hire a talented chef. It's a good idea to offer desserts too. You need to keep up with the latest styles. It needs to have great music and lightning. It has to offer it, latest types of equipment or it has to provide useful information. It has, it has to, to offer the latest, latest types price. of equipment. 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 Okay. Okay, uh, number two. In order to run a profitable restaurant, what is profitable? Economic place. Mm, not really. Uh, rentable. Rentable, yes. Many people say, for example, oh, el negocio la comida rentable. So in English, it would be food is profitable. So in this case, in order to run a profitable restaurant, what do you need? You need to have a, hire a talented chef? Yes. 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 Definitely. Imagine you can have a beautiful, beautiful restaurant, but if you don't have a good chef, forget about it. To, to establish a successful new dance club, what do you it need? It needs to have great music and lighting. It needs to have great music and lightning. Very good. For a coffee bar to succeed, it's a good idea. It's to a good idea to offer this too. To offer this too. Good. Uh, Sunday, I think I was in Metro Centro. And um, I saw a good. Do you know what is the difference between. Uh, 
advertise and propaganda? Advertise is, is like announcing a newspaper or TV and propaganda is like a people telling you, hey, come here with a, a slayer or, or something like that. Okay, no, it's like- it's hard. Hmm? He has to provide useful information. Okay, so um, look at me here. Van, Van Heusen. Imagine, oh, my glasses is Van Heusen. My, my shirt is Van Heusen. Is that propaganda or publicity? Publicity. What is the difference? The difference is that use the, the object or maybe the, I don't know, which is, uh, or como se dice? I, I don't know. I, I forgot in that, <laughs> but it's uh, when you use uh, object, I use uh, for the necessity or maybe do you want no, actually, or do you need? Actually, publicity and propaganda is lo mismo. It's the exact same thing. The only difference is that propaganda is for religion or politics. Oh, the so advertising for it, is for business. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so if I have a Nueva Ciudad shirt, it's propaganda. If I have a Coca-Cola shirt, it's publicity. Okay, so okay. let's continue with Number six. Okay, so, uh, oh yeah, number six. To run a successful number clothing boot. Number five. Number five is. Number oh, I'm five. sorry. In order for a magazine to succeed. It has to provide useful information. information. Very good. And this one is especially for Gabriela. Number six. To run a successful <laughs> clothing boutique, you need to keep up with the latest style. All right. Let's see if we got them all right. Yeah. All right, we're good. This year. Yes. Before uh, before finish the class, can you help me with the unit two point nine? I'm uh, sorry, but why why five. why are you in two point nine and two point ten? Uh, uh, because because of signs for because um only that uh, do it two. No, but my question is why are you? Porque se está adelantando. Why? But eh, I ya terminé la plataforma y solo esa no me da buena. Sí, pero y si la, ese problema porque eh, es como que si se salta al, a la cuatro. Uh -huh. eh, esta es la idea porque en lo que la vamos haciendo lo vamos aprendiendo. Teacher. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Moisés. No, hay, hay... Bueno, me gustaría decirlo esto en español porque okay. quizás tengo la misma situación que Sara. Fíjense que cuando estuvimos en la charla informativa nos dijeron de que si, si podíamos nos adelantáramos porque qué sé yo que cada mes era, teníamos que agarrar cupo y que no sé qué. Entonces yo me imagino que estoy en la misma que Sara. Yo, Bien, que, ah, me... Por eso le, les pregunté porque me pareció algo raro. No, y no crean, también en mi clase pasada se, se adelantaban y yo les preguntaba por qué se adelantaban. Porque... Pero, ajá, pero ya había oído eso también, que les han dicho que se adelanten. No ajá. entiendo por qué. Ajá, porque no entiendo por qué, porque aquí... Y, la... 
Aquí y también idea. fíjese, teacher, que Ajá. este el problema que tuve en el módulo pasado, yo creo que todos los compañeros, es que hubieron cinco o cuatro preguntas que yo luché, me desvelé, porque a mí sí me gusta, quiero aprender inglés y me cuesta hablar, no, la verdad que quiero aprender, pero sí me salían malas preguntas y, y no era culpa mía. No, la plataforma estaba mala, siempre lo ha estado realmente. Con que me sorprende ahorita que me han salido buenas, porque aunque la ponga usted buena, salen malas. Y sí, eso, eso me pasó a mí. Yeah. Y cuando hablé con el soporte técnico, me dieron otra respuesta totalmente diferente. Y en eso siempre, yo por eso, yo les digo, no se preocupen, ¿no? si sale mal. Uh -huh. Y a veces, y siempre... y hay, a veces, incluso una respuesta puede estar buena, porque una pregunta puede tener cuatro respuestas. Pero... Por eso es que me gusta hacerlo de, de así, el, todos al mismo tiempo. Uh -huh. pero, pero entiendo lo que les dicen, pero porque tenemos cuatro semanas y tenemos que terminar todo esto en las cuatro semanas. Y como le diría que ve, como esta clase es un poco chiquita, puede ser chivo, pues, porque lo que podemos, lo que yo quisiera es terminar todo esto quizás para, el, para mañana, si se puede. No, sí. Porque el jueves podemos repasar todo. Sí. Como, como la verdad tú. que yo sí quiero aprender. Ya. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Pero eh, lo que les dije hace poco, la, la diferencia del inglés es que el inglés no se estudia, se aprende. Y ese, y ese creo que es el, hay, hay, hay ciertas cosas que se aprenden y hay ciertas cosas que se estudian. Por ejemplo, Le voy a dar un ejemplo a mi esposa. Ojalá que me esté viendo. Uh, mi esposa no puede manejar. Y creo que nunca lo va a hacer. Porque, pero eso sí, se puede todas las leyes. Todas las reglas. Porque ella prefiere leerlo. Yo le digo, no, man. O sea, hay, hay historias se puede estudiar. Porque solo es de informar. Pero hay ciertas cosas que tienen una acción. Manejar. Es una acción. Hablar es una acción. Y si se dan cuenta, todo lo que es acción se aprende. Todos aprendieron a planchar, a lavar, a nadar, a caminar. Por eso ahí viene la, la, la famosa speak or talk. Todos aprendieron a hablar también. Por eso cuando uno dice, oh, your baby, can he speak? No, he can't. Oh, yes, he can. Aún oh, no, aún sí. Yes. Entonces el inglés, eh, o lo pueden anotar todo y escribir y leer, sí van a aprender algo siempre, pero nunca lo van a aprender más rápido si no lo practican. Y de ahí viene el famoso dicho que yo siempre he oído por casi 20 años, que me dicen, mire, teacher, que yo tengo un problema, yo lo puedo entender todo, pero a mí me cuesta hablarlo. Y porque es lo que menos hacen. Les voy a dar un ejemplo. Evaristo Naftalí no lo has oído para nada hoy. Y, y yo creo que si no les digo esto hoy, termina la clase y no hablaron. Pero es ok, o sea, pero el objetivo es hablar, decir algo, una oración, cualquier cosa. Hay, hay un lema que se llama KISS. Keep it simple. Manténlo simple. Los ejemplos. Por ejemplo, ayer, ayer el tema fue para hacer esto, se necesita esto. Ese era el tema. Y siempre, siempre digan algo, siempre. Siempre, siempre digan algo. Porque a veces uno dice, ¿qué digo? Pero si se ponen así, ¿qué se necesita para hacer un cobal? Y no, entonces ahí solo están como rellenando la oración. Pero pueden hacer algo más interesante, como, hey, ¿qué se necesita para, para alquilar un rancho aquí? ¿Qué se necesita para ser miembro de, de un club? ¿Ya? Yes. Entonces eso es lo que yo les recomiendo, de que eh, siempre procuren participar y preguntar, 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 preguntar. Y bien claro, porque fíjense bien claro, mi, mi clase anterior... Con ellos sí casi no terminábamos mucho porque 
me hacían todas las preguntas que me gustaba porque me ponían como, hey, that's good, hasta se me olvidaba a mí la gramática de eso. Pero siempre pregunten y participen, que es lo más importante. Ya, yeah, eso es lo que vamos a hacer ahorita. Por ejemplo, ahorita vamos a ver vocabulary qualities for success. Do you see, do you see the woman on the video? No, teacher. Okay, let me share again. Ah, pero para terminar, sí, eh, eh, lo que le iba a decir, en mi clase pasada, Sara, también tenía, digamos, estábamos en la lección 1 y me estaban diciendo, mire, ¿cuál es esta? Y yo, okay. y yo cuando vimos eso, y de repente voy viendo que estaban en la 3.4. Wow. No, le digo, no se avance tanto porque no, no tiene mucha gracia, pues, porque solo están llenando, llenando, llenando. La idea es ir aprendiendo eso y contando y una explicación. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you see the woman now? Yes. 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 All right. Let's see. Her name is Jessica, correct? Yeah. No, I don't yeah. know. That. I yes. can't remember yeah. her name. <laughs> What's our teacher? I, your teacher? I can't remember her name. You can't remember. <laughs> you know. You know. Uh, mm -hmm. I. I have that problem. Mm -hmm. I have that problem. Oh, look at that beautiful baby. Beautiful baby. Uh, I have that problem. I've been a teacher for maybe 20 years. And sometimes I see like in Metro Centro or Gran Villa or something, teacher, hi. And it's like this extremely, extremely beautiful woman. And she goes, hi, remember me? But, you know, and then she says, you were my teacher 10 years ago. Oh, really? How old are you? 21. What is it? 10 years ago, 10 years ago, she was, she was 10, 10 or 11. And now it's like, very different. Yeah. And I say now, wow, what a big difference. <laughs> and guess what, teacher? Yes, I am really good to remember names, faces, situation, characters, I, and things like that. I remember faces a lot, but people, yeah, sometimes I, I always that always happens. Like, hi, teacher, hi. But I'm like, hey, this is how you. I don't know. You have to remember sometimes. Okay, so the, that's. Those are the qualities. So let me see. Here's the video again. Okay, let's listen to the lady. So in this case, it was, it was easier for you to remember one name than the teacher to remember 10, 20, or 25 names every day. <laughs> yeah, it is, it's really hard to the teachers. Oh, wait a minute. Neftali, you say you're very good at remembering names? So what is her name? It's Jessica. No, no, I'm sorry, not, not Neftali. Um, who said that is very good at remembering names? Mariano. Me, Mariano. Oh, Mariano. What's so Jose? What, oh yeah, Mariano, what is her name? Jessica. <laughs> Bad, I don't know the, the last name. Complete <laughs> name. <laughs> People always remember me for my last name, not my, my name. Because my last name is, oops, sorry. Baltron. Baltrons. No, yes, yeah, it says Baltrons. Um, that's why people always remember me, David Baltron. Oh, I remember you, you're a teacher. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sounds like the robot. Yeah, when I was a, when I was a little boy, they always called me Baltron. <laughs> yeah. Even today, my work, people don't call me David. They say, hey, Baltron's when you. Teacher, yes. I, I just like, uh, well, well, I was wondering about this. Uh, you are from El Salvador or from No, no, no I am from here. Oh. My, my grandfather and my grandmother were from Catalonia. 
And and the the I am a Barça fan. The, for your last name. Yes. Okay. But but you know it's very strange because the father of my grandfather he was Russian. And yeah, you see that you're a Baltrons because when I go to the supermarket, you know, all vodkas, you know, Petrov, Potran, you know, Baltrons. I'm all okay. Tiene más mm lógica. -hmm. Johnny Walker. No, that's whiskey. <laughs> No, because the, the father of my grandfather, he was from Russia. So in history, I imagine he was escaping communism. And maybe he went to Spain. Como los judíos emigraron a todo el mundo, I imagine los rusos too. Actually, there, is a, there are a lot of Russians living in Barcelona. I yes. have a friend who lives in Barcelona. He lives in Granolleras. Yes, maybe maybe that's that's why. But but I never been to. But you know, all my family has gone to Barcelona. I have never gone. And now I want to go, but the problem is that now I am married. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's <laughs> caro. That's the problem. That's the problem. Expensive. Yes, my brother, he's single. He sends me pictures. Hey, I in Barcelona. Look, these are some primos. Like, oh. <laughs> mm. yes. You oh, should be there. there. I should be there. <laughs> but I will go someday with my son. My dream, my dream is to someday go to Europe backpacking. Hard travel. I, I want to backpack, ir a museos and... Okay. And that that's cool. And that to watch a, Barcelona. A hard way to travel. Yeah, maybe. Nice. Mm -hmm. And someday we'll go to watch Messi. Okay. Can you hear Hi. the audio? What qualities are important for success? Yes, yes. Listen to the phone yes, and yes. They will okay. help you describe qualities that you feel are most important. Fashionable. Gorgeous. Industrious. Muscular. Slender. Clever. Charming. Knowledgeable. Persuasive. Tough. Affordable, attractive, entertaining, informative, well written. Okay, class, um, these are just examples of qualities. Do you, um, do you understand what is fashionable? Es como presentable. Not really. No. A la moda. Yes, fashionable is fashion. What is the fashion of, of, of children today, of, of people? Well, you know, I, I, I see that now men or boys or young boys, now they put makeup. Yes, that's true. Yes. And and, uh, and and errands too. And what? Earrings. Ear yeah, but earrings, earrings. That's always I think since the seventies. But I noticed that vi un meme un día que me dio risa de que cómo se llaman las pinzas para las cejas. Mm. Mm. Para quitar las las cejas. Bueno, pero sale, sale una pinza y decía, antes las mujeres usaban esto para quitarse las cejas. Hoy sus novios también. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> yeah, it was a meme. Yeah, but okay, for me that's strange, but I hey. Culpa de Cristiano Ronaldo, man, él empezó esto. <laughs> no. 
So yeah, I think fashionable now. What is a fashionable boy now? A fashionable boy now is uh, the it, pants. Teacher. Yes, uh, tight pants. Tight shirts. Your nails. Her nails. His nails. He paints his nails. I'm not surprised. Uh, purple color. Oh my God. It's fierce men. Yes, I see now that makeup is very fashionable. Well, when you go to a-, a Then, a, Bad Bunny too. Yes, oh yes, Bad Bunny is a fashion. Well, go to, go to Gran Vía, go to Las Cascadas, Metro Centro. Now, I remember before there were only beauty salons, only. Now there are barber shops. Pero todos, tricky. I remember one time I was with my father. My father is very old school. Um, hi. Hi. She's speaking English, but don't cry. Uh, real. Yeah, but that's normal. You have to speak first. You can't write or read something you can't speak. So it's good. She will, no, I said. Uh, she only speak English. Really? Really. Oh, that's uh, good. Si, anda, este, por eso estoy estudiando más, porque no le entiendo. Is she your daughter? <laughs> no, it's my nice. Niece. Niece, uh -huh. oh, Okay, okay, I see. Okay, so uh, next we have gorgeous. Gorgeous. Do you know what is gorgeous? <clears throat> um, look at me. Gorgeous is chulo. Chulo. <laughs> so, so I think I'm a good example. <laughs> No, I'm joking. Gorgeous. <laughs> gorgeous is something is 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 um synonym of beautiful. Of so you can say a person is gorgeous or a scenery, like wow. You know, like when you go when you go to um Sonsonate and you go to uh a taco and, it, and when you drive and you look, you say, Wow, this is gorgeous because you see green everywhere. Yes? Can you give me an example of gorgeous, Gabriela? Teacher, me gorgeous me. is the same meaning of wonderful. Gorgeous is It's a synonym a of, of beautiful. Mm -hmm. oh, a gorgeous mountain. The mountain is gorgeous. 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 Yes. Gorgeous. It's like Charlize Theron is gorgeous. Oh no, she's not gorgeous. She's she's. <laughs> there is no adjective for Charlize Theron, man. She's. Is your ass right on the beach? I'm sorry. Uh, sunrise in the beach. Yes, you know when you say you what you say, wow, that is so gorgeous. Um, women, I think women like Superman. Um, something. Yeah, women say, oh my god, he's gorgeous. Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill, yes. <laughs> Okay, next we have industrious. What is industrious? A company. Excuse me? A company. Industrious? Es industrioso. Industrioso? Industrioso, yes. Teacher, and the thing is that we are going to use that uh, word uh, related to a man or woman that is a uh, hard worker, that is. Yes, you know, um, you know that's that's one one beautiful thing about English. 
Y se lo puedo decir en español esto, porque ya van a ver por qué. El español es un idioma tan machista. Y eso es lo bonito de inglés, que o si la palabra, o una de dos, la palabra es neutra. Por ejemplo, gorgeous. Lo que nace ella o él es el, el pronombre, he or she. She is gorgeous, he is gorgeous. Cuando me refiero que el español es bien machista, porque siempre nos referimos al sexo masculino, como mis papás, mis tíos, mis primos, mis amigos. ¿Ya? En español cuando decimos mis papás, doy a entender mi mamá y mi papá. No. Hola. Yeah. 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 Entonces, hay mucha gente que hace ese error en inglés. When people say my fathers. If you say that in English, my fathers. It's really? Like you have two fathers. fathers. Mm -hmm. Entonces, está la palabra neutra. My parents. Right. Mis hijos. In English, people, my sons. Y si tiene hijas. So, está my children. You know, so uh, in this case, those adjectives, Moises, are for both sex. Okay. What the difference is the pronoun. He is beautiful. She is beautiful. Okay. Okay. So um, let's go with muscular. Girls, Anna, Sarah, Gabriela, do you like muscular men? Yes, I like. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> Do you like very, very muscular men? Like, no, if, no, very, very. No. If, no. Are, <laughs> if are natural, yes. But muscular. But it's artificial nothing. <laughs> yes, but because... he. But if he stay all day at gym, no. Oh, okay, yes. What about you, men? Do you like muscular women? No, no, <laughs> no. Yeah, me too. I, I, I don't like. Oh, muscle. Yeah. yeah, when the woman goes, imagine, imagine your girlfriend. You have a better dancer with bigger <laughs> arms than than you. Yeah. No. Oh no. That. She, she can beat me if she gets hungry. <laughs> yes, she gets angry. You sure. <laughs> like like Ronda Rousey. In this time, uh, in this time, is. Fashional uh, have muscular in the woman. Yeah, maybe it's true. It, it's very common. It's very common. It's true. Okay, next we have slender. What is slender? Slender. Intelligent person. Intelligent. No, no, no. Slender. Oh, slender. It's a. Uh, it's belta. Yes. Esbelta o esbelto. Okay, next we have clever. What is clever? Intelligent person. Mm, okay, but. Mark. Clever is more like astuto. Oh. Like, for example, I think the president of El Salvador is very clever. Teacher, he, he's always como uno dos pasos adelante. Like. Mm. Teacher, in our reality, in our Salvadoran reality, we use Picaro to say that something is astuto. <laughs> no, but, well, yeah, okay. But let me give an example. Um, well, for example, I think I think Nayib Bukele is he's intelligent, but I think he's more Clever, es como astuto, y like, porque pícaro es like, hey, malía, but clever is something good. Okay. Like it's clever. It's like a ingenious, ingenious yes. person? Yes, it's like somebody who anticipates. Somebody who anticipates, it's like something clever. Clever. That is a, a one characteristic 
psycho man <laughs> yes all of a sudden mm -hmm. exactly yeah. what Very is what is charming encantador, encantador. yes that's why women always are looking for the prince charming. Yes. <laughs> this is cool. But if you have a prince charming, he's your best friend. He's not your boyfriend. <laughs> he is your BFF. <laughs> His <true>. charming smile. <laughs> yes. Okay, next we have persuasive. It's a man or woman that is that has the ability to convince another person to to okay. do, so. <laughs> to do yes. or believe something. Okay, a self yes. person needs to be persuasive. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I okay, I look at someone been here. To be a good salesperson, you have to be persuasive. Yes. Oh. You're a political person. Oh, yes, too. A political person, too. Okay, next we have tough. No. Rudo. Rudo or difícil. For example, oh, my God, man, the exam was tough. Teacher, and, and uh, I was wondering about this uh, word. Uh, I I can say this was hard. Excuse me. It, it's not the correct if I say uh, this exam was hard. Yes. No. This this exam was hard. This exam was difficult, or this exam was tough. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hanging tough. Dun, dun, dun. Remember new kids in the vlog? Yeah, I can remember. I still can remember my my sisters yeah, dancing too. and singing. Wow. I, wow. I still have a, a cassette. Not tampoco, man. <laughs> <It's my game. laughs> I, I mean, I like them, but I never, nunca lo uh, Yeah, because I like Metallica. <laughs> I love too, but my sister lives with a cassette in my house. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Hey, I like mini vanilli. Yes. Yeah. Okay, next we have a tr uh, affordable. What do you think is a good, a, a nice car and affordable in El Salvador? A nice, affordable car. No, it's like accessible or asequible. Exacto, es accesible. Por ejemplo, si uno dice, hey, yo quiero un carro algo reciente, bonito, pero no tengo mucho. ¿Cuál es cuál sería un carro accesible? What is an affordable car in El Salvador? Kia. Yeah. Kia. Yeah. 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 Pero yeah. the best, the best is, is Toyota. Yeah, but you see, but there's a big difference between Toyota and Kia in price. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Por eso se dice, hey, I, I want a, a, a recent car, but affordable. And people say, okay, if you want a good, nice car, accessible, um, a Kia or a Hyundai. Yes? Yes. Y saben que en Estados Unidos el Toyota es el equivalente a un Kia acá. Or Honda. Yeah, it's true. Toyota uh, como. It's, it's an affordable car. Uh -huh, Uy, qué feo manejo un Toyota. Or a Nissan. Yeah, or a Nissan. A lot of people in the United States drive a Ford or Chevrolet. Yes. 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 Because it's American. It, it, oh, Ford? Because very people uh, were in farm. Yes. Use, and remember, uh, and re remember, some baratos and Ford is American. 
Es como los franceses que compran Peugeot. For you, what is the best in El Salvador? Uh, for me, it's Toyota. I have a Kia, pero Toyota is Toyota. It's like Comenteles and, and Sony. I have two barras de sonido. Mm -hmm. Y las dos son de 300 watts. 300 watts. One is LG and one is Sony. When you put watts, that is Sony's. Wow. It's an extreme sound. The LG is good. But if you compare it to Sony, man, no, Sony's. So I imagine, I imagine that's how Kias and, and Toyotas are. Uh, there is other more in, in music. J, JBL. JBL is good mark too. Yes, there, I have I have one, um, a, a small portable. It's good. See, it's very good. Yes. Because you you can uh, how do you say moha? Wet it. Wet it. It don't it, it's, it's it's waterproof. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's true. Okay, class. Uh, listen, these are qualities. Okay, so hay muchas cualidades. Yes. Uh, if you want to study, uh, for example, I recommend you to study like um, like Moises. What qualities do you like about your girlfriend, and what qualities don't you like about your boyfriend? I'm sorry, your girlfriend. I'm sorry. Or um, Gabriela, she can say, what qualities do you like about clients? So clientes and what clients, uh, what qualities don't you like about? Yes. What, what qualities do you like in people? What don't you like in people? So you can practice many, many things. Okay. So, uh, okay, class, we'll continue tomorrow then, okay? Okay, same okay. teacher. Uh, tomorrow okay, thank is, you. Is mañana. Wednesday. 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 Yeah. Okay. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.